Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for my grad chapter interest. I hope that you guys find this video helpful. I've had some people who've been asking me lately what's the best way to approach sorority members or what's the best way to approach the vice president. And I'm gonna give you guys some step-by-step -step steps to take, if that makes sense, before you actually approach the vice president. And it can work. You can kind of do these interchangeably, but these are the steps that I would recommend taking. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I think when you're first interested in joining Grad Chapter, I get asked this a lot. A lot of people who message me will say, I have some questions, but I'm trying to be discreet. Listen, if I hadn't set this enough, I think that in Grad Chapter, discretion does not matter. And I say that because they are just as interested in finding interested members as you guys are interested in joining. But the issue is, they don't know you guys well enough to know that you're interested and you guys are looking at them like can't you just look at me and tell that i'm interested it doesn't work like that sometimes sometimes grad chapter members talk to people to be polite and it doesn't register with them because not everyone's on the intake committee so everyone's not registering that you're interested in joining their particular chapter or their organization so you, you got to be a little more open in your speech so before we even get to that part I think that if you're looking to join a grad chapter in your area and you already know the grad chapter that you want to join, if you don't know how to find a grad chapter, check out my video on how to use websites to find a grad chapter. But if you already know the grad chapter that you want to join, I think that it's important to reach out to them via email or via social media first, whichever one they're most active on. Some grad chapters have their own local websites apart from the national websites that they have. Some grad chapters have their own personal websites. So if they're active on their personal websites, I recommend reaching out to them there, sending them a polite email. And your email can be as simple as this. Hello, my name is so-and-so. I am interested in learning more information about your organization. Please let me know the best way to reach you and or if you're having any community events in the future. Something along those lines. And what that does is that opens you up for them to contact you back because you're asking them to provide more information and then you're also asking them to let you know when they're having their next public event so that you can attend and then that's also letting them know that you're interested the only issue with this type of approach is that they don't know your name or they know your name but they can't put a name to the face so that's when social media comes in handy because they have things like facebook instagram twitter uh TikTok, like there's so many social media outlets snapchat there's so many ways to like follow people and see what they're up to and it's easier if you're on social media some chapters have really really young chapter members or really tech savvy chapter members who are always on the chapter social media so it's super easy to reach out to them some chapters all you have is their website and their email address but if you know a chapter that is 100 percent active on their social media you can contact them with the same message on their social media so that they can put a face to the name and then they'll also what that will do for you is they'll see your picture so don't i mean this is up to you but i don't recommend like leaving a blank space for your picture or using a, a fake picture for your picture i recommend using your personal photo because what it's going to do later for you is when you go to the event they can put a face to the name and they could say you look familiar or something to that regard and you could say yes I messaged you guys on such and such outlet about this particular event I think that that's the best way to approach a chapter member so with that said if you've done the emails and you've done the messages and you're at the event how do you approach people some chapters will approach you some members are really bold and will be like oh who did you come with hi what's your name who are you with like they want to know and I'll tell you why they want to know they want to know because some chapters or some organizations are by invitation and when they're by invitation they want to know who you with who you with who did you come with who do you know that we know so that we'll know that you know what we up to so you will then know what we're up to when we're ready to let you know what we want from you I know it's a little dramatic I find it so funny I think it's like it's like this fun little game with with organizations sometimes some people play games and you gotta know how to play the game sometimes so when they ask you who do you know they're not asking just to be coy like no they really want to know who you know so that they can reach out to that person and be like well, what do you know about so and so so I think it's important to 
have a point of contact within the chapter so that when you approach the VP or when you approach someone who's in the intake committee, if you know who those people are, you can say, oh, I was invited by such and such. Don't call them soror. Don't call them by that sorority title. Don't call them by their name because you're not a part of the sorority yet. You could say, oh, my friend Kim let me know about this event. She's a part of y'all's chapter. And then they're going to go right to Kim and be like, Kim, what do you know about Kelsey? Things of that nature. If you did not get to do the email portion and you're just showing up at an event because you saw them on social media post about it, this is how you can approach this situation. If you approach someone, be it membership chair, uh, intake committee person, anybody, they ask you, hi, how did you learn about us? You can just say, oh, I saw your flyer on social media and I was interested. And then you can also say something like this. You can say, I really enjoyed this event and it's got me interested about your organization. How can I learn more? You just open your door to opportunity right there. You don't have to use these exact lines, but understand that there's a certain type of language that you want to use when you're trying to get them to know that you're interested. Sometimes you can just say out front, I'm interested in joining your organization. I found your event on Facebook and I wanted to come and introduce myself. You can say something as simple as that, but if you want to play coy and play the coy game, say what I just said previously. I think that this information is most helpful. I think it's important to know the organization that you want to join and to know about the chapter that you want to join because you're going to need this information later on. It's important to contact the membership chair because it's the membership chair like that person is going to be in charge of your intake in the future. You're going to want to know that person's name. You're going to want to get her number. You're going to want to know how to contact her. So even if you don't know who the membership chair is, you can ask. Once you're comfortable and you've engaged in conversation with some members, like you're not ready to talk to the VP yet, but you've talked to some members and you want to move forward, you can ask them, um, if I want to join more about your, if I want to learn more about your organization, who would be the best point of contact for that? And they'll either give it to you or they won't. They'll be like, oh, we'll let you know. Or they'll be like, here, girl, here's our number. So be forward, but also know how to play the game when you're playing the game. I hope that you guys found this information helpful. I personally enjoy grad chapter intake more than I enjoy undergrad because with undergrad, you do have to be coy and you do have to use discretion. And it's stressful trying to let people know that you're interested without letting them know that you're interested. But I got a whole other video on that. If you guys haven't seen my video on how to make sororities interested in you, check that out. But this is just for my grad chapter people. I hope that you guys found it helpful. I hope that you found it useful. If you guys have had any experience with this, please comment down below and let people know what it was like for you. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. If you guys have any questions, you already know where you can hit me up. Hit me up on my Instagram. Hit me up on my Gmail, kelstales.all at Gmail, or just kelstales on Instagram. Feel free to hit me up and let me know if you have any questions and tell me about your journey. Tell me about if this information was helpful to you. If it was, please share it and let other people know and tell them to go ahead and subscribe because I have so many videos and I plan on producing more. I don't see this ending anytime soon. So let me know. And if you have questions, let me know so that I can produce content on it and help you guys out even more. And if I help you, please let me know so that I can celebrate with you because it's an exciting time joining in an organization. It's, 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 it's probate season. So if you guys found this information helpful, please let me know, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.